Um, you know, Tony, the point that Dennis brings up, you, you heard the statement of the Attorney General. First of all, it was reported, and then there were also video clips of the man saying that um, uh, he didn't want to be preemptive. Uh, we, we have information. This is not careless information. It's from, the, it's from a government of a foreign country. It was not just loosely brought up. It followed their investigation. Now it has come to us, and a study was saying the Attorney General's office effectively is in charge of um, um, how this whole matter, you know, how, how it goes from here. And it would seem, to those of us perhaps we're not professional enough, um, it, it would seem that what are you being shy about? I mean, all you need to do is saying that, look, uh, the older, what, what, what is it that they say? In, innocence uh, is presumed. Presumption of yes, innocence. Until, until otherwise until proven. But you, the Attorney General, no doubt going by the ethics or the rules of his own profession, uh, is saying what he is saying. It does seem as if they know on due haste to name these people uh, in the interest of protecting uh, the innocent. Should they subsequently come to be found not guilty? I like you that you're laughing because that in itself is a commentary. But you heard Malami say as much. Uh, anyway, um, one thing we must understand about the law is that when it comes to government, there is no right that cannot be wronged, and there is no wrong that cannot be rightened. Uh, so, if Malami is uh, making some of these statements, it's either protecting his pot of soup. Is it that protecting his pot of soup? Or alternatively, those whose names are on the feature of, uh, that are featured in that list are so powerful to the extent that is it that his life is in danger or alternatively they are part of his employers or those that nominated him and all those stuff like that. Now, there are many variables that are beyond law and legality that comes to play when you look and you listen to him. It says who not ambiguous at all. You don't need to be a lawyer. You don't need to be a lawyer. You know, look at some things are subject to the mind and test of a reasonable man of mind. If people have been indicted and government, government officers have come to say that we know these people. Mm -hmm. These are their names. And that presumptuously that certain level of investigation has been carried out and they've been indicted in one way or the other or they've been fingered in one way or the other. What you are expected to do as the Attorney General of the Federation is either of two. It's either you are asking the DSS, the FCC to carry out a further investigation on it very quickly. You are not going to make any statement as presuming that you are defending them. But alternatively, you take them to court. That is the normal thing. Now, but we have a situation where you have individuals that are bigger than the country, that are bigger than the institutions. And that's what we have. So much because of impunity. Because that's the impression it gives. Yes, too that's much, of, impression in, yes, it gives too much of impunity. These people, uh, you, it's not everybody you can step on their toes. That's simple, you know? so that uh, you don't find yourself, um, uh, you know, where you are not expected to.